Good morning. Uh, on uh, in this uh, short instructional video, I want to uh, basically show you how to download and save student data files. Now, with your textbook, you've received or you probably received a, a DVD with your student data files, and there are some instructions uh, within that, and you can use uh, those data files right off the the uh, DVD. But um, here later on in a few semesters, you might be purchasing textbooks with uh, without DVDs or you may lose one so anyway I want to go ahead and put uh, student data files for our textbook out there on our site so you can download them and use them now um, we're looking at the Windows Web and Office 2013 uh, a unit so that's that's in part two of our textbook and that's chapters one two and three now there are several data files to go with that or several sets of data files and uh, <coughs> The, um, there's actually enough large data files that I had to break them apart into four uh, different sets. So we have chapter one, parts one, two, and three, and then chapter two and three. There aren't any data files from chapter two, but uh, there are several from chapter three. So I've tried to make these fairly small so you can download them and, and use them. Now, in Word, for instance, as well, uh, we, we're using student data files and this is the link to down, download those data files. There are also student data files in the Excel section, PowerPoint, and Access as well. So this process applies to, uh, to all, of these, uh, all of these units. So going back to Windows, Web, and Office, um, what we'll do at this point, we would just simply go ahead and click on one of these data files and then what we should see here pretty shortly it's connecting we can see it's connecting so it should ask us to go ahead and, and download those um, and they're fairly large so it'll download uh, it'll ask us to download and save that just I'll go ahead and pause this video just for a minute to get to that uh, message point okay at this point it just took me uh, oh it probably took 30 seconds I imagine to uh, to come up with this window so it says uh, you've chosen to open Windows Web Office Chapter 1 Part 1 and remember we have this same sort of uh, structure for the other um, downloads as well and we just want to go ahead and save the file and OK now in the interest of time some of these are pretty large 42.5 meg it'll take you a while to download some of those uh, when you get to that point um, so and some are smaller some are much larger Regardless, we'll go ahead and save the file. Now, just in the interest of time, what I've, I've gone and done is went to my downloads directory, and after the point where I've downloaded those files, we'll see these Web Office Chapter 1 Part 1 uh, folder in my downloads directory. Now, this is for Windows 7. I know some of you are running Windows 8, and some are running Windows 7. I'll try to... Uh, I don't have at this point in time Windows 8 but the file structure stuff should be about the same within Windows 8 I'll try to make a second video and specify Windows 7 or 8 when that time comes so uh, we have Windows Web we have the Word 2013 chapter 6 and 7 student data files what I'll do at this time is uh, just go ahead and select one of those and <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me copy it and if you remember over my courses directory under NM under CS 110 spring 2014 I went ahead and created this data structure in the last instructional video well, I'm going to go ahead and drop my video my uh, student data files in here so I'm going to right click and paste okay so I've got that copied let me go back to downloads and grab the other one right click copy go to what was in courses NM uh, CS 110 spring 214 go into student data files and paste okay so we're good there now what I want to do at this point in time is extract the information there are files within these compressed uh, within, within these compressed folders so if I right click and I should be able to extract all and you notice the directory structure CS 110 spring 2014 
student uh, data files, Windows Web, Chapter 1, and so on. I should be able to extract those right into that folder. Notice how it created a second folder, not the zip, but the, but the, um, the actual folder with the information in it. Okay, and so we see a bunch of pictures and video and stuff like that. Okay, we'll do the same thing for um, Word. Extract all. Just go ahead and select the default folder for that. Extract. Okay, it's going to look at Chapter 6 and Chapter 7. Chapter 6 looks like the, just has one file in it, uh, Chapter 6 Instructions. And Chapter 7, though, um, has quite a few different docs that you'll go ahead and load and use and submit when you're doing your skills assignments. Now, now what I would also do, I, I think, probably is go back to Student Data Files. Okay, so I'm in Student Data Files. And I'd probably keep those zipped files around. But let's go ahead and create a new folder. And I'll just call it zipped. And I'm going to put, so what I'm doing is just clicking, holding the control button, clicking the next one, <clears throat> dragging them over into zipped, and that'll help kind of clean up uh, my student data files a little bit. If I need to go back um, and say I delete something in here accidentally, I overwrite it, I can still go back into my zipped folder. Um, and you can call it whatever you want. Um, student data files if you want, uh, or compressed student data files, or originals maybe. Um, originals might be a better word. And uh, be able to go back in and unzip these once again. Okay, so um, hopefully that will help you understand how to go ahead and download, copy these uh, files, um, extract them, and extract them into a directory structure that can be useful and, and efficient for you. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please, uh, please uh, send me a message. And thank you very much.